Hi, so I realized that my MCAT video was a little too long, so I want to have a condensed version where I just hit the key points. So it'll be my tips on how I think that people should study for the MCAT after experiencing it myself. First thing I have to say is that you have, should really try and study for it during the summer. So well, first thing, study for it during the summer. When you have enough time to focus on it, I think the usual time is like three months. I took about two and a half months of just intense MCAT studying and I just don't see how you can do it while you're taking other classes or have a full-time job. So I recommend setting aside the time for it. So like you need to study a lot. Like this is basically a job for you. So I would say not to have any huge projects going on. So if you're a student, I would recommend the summertime. Um, the other thing is that I didn't realize this, MCAT test is online, so you need to get used to reading off of a computer and not having like scratch paper. Or you do have scratch paper, but it's not like you can't X out the question or something. You can do it on the computer, but you can't do it on paper. And it's a completely different experience, so I would recommend getting used to that so you can have like courses that will provide that kind of stuff for you or just find it online. Other thing is that a lot of people they don't take the full practice test is that they'll take it like little segments at a time and that's okay in the beginning when you're starting out but towards the end you really need to build your stamina. So that means taking the whole test as it is like with the required breaks because it is really exhausting to do that so I would recommend taking the tests towards the end like or middle towards the end full and treat it like it's a real test because it's going to be exhausting and you it's like a practice you know if you, pra you practice for a meet or anything you have to work just as hard as you would during a game and your games are usually longer than your practices or shorter than your practices so you need to do that. Um, other thing is that you have to take this test seriously. You do not want to take it twice. One, because it is a nightmare to have to go through this again. Like, I never want to go through this again. Two, um, it doesn't look as good if you apply, like, take it a second time. I have heard some schools are totally fine with it. Some schools will take the average. Other schools will look down upon it and be like, well, why do you need the second time? So, take it seriously. This is a, a part of the application process so I would recommend taking it seriously as possible. Last thing, which is kind of contradicting to what I just said, is you do have to have a little bit of fun while studying for it. You cannot go 10 weeks without ever having anything fun in your life. Like I did go eat out sometimes, I would watch TV at night, whatever. Do not drive yourself insane. It is very stressful, but do be one of those people who just never see anyone. I really did cut back on my social life and I barely didn't, I didn't even see my family and I was at my house. So it's, it is a sacrifice, but don't sacrifice everything so that you just end up collapsing entirely. Do enough that you can maintain your strict study schedule, but without losing your mind. So I would work out and I would still like eat whatever, just take care of yourself, make sure that you're in the best condition as possible because this test will take a lot out of you. And just know it's not as bad as you think. Yeah, so good luck.